Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the range mask that is found in Lightroom Classic. Now the range mask is in the graduated filter, the radio filter, and the brush. And there's actually three different types of range masks. There's a color range mask, a luminance range mask, and a depth range mask. And I'm gonna show you all three. What these masks allow you to do is to apply those adjustments, that is the graduated filter, radio filter, or brush, to very specific parts of your image. You're gonna mask it in to those parts and it will mask it away from the other parts. Now, this image, it's an okay image, but the sky is kinda of bright. So I'd like to kinda of rain in the sky, but not affect the rest of the image. So I'm gonna use a graduated filter for that. Now at the very bottom, you could see range mask, but it's all grayed out right now, and that's because I have to apply the filter first. So it just so happens as I open it, exposure is all the way down. I'm going to leave it there and I'm just going to apply the graduated filter by clicking in the middle and dragging down. If I want to keep it perfectly straight, I'll hold the shift key so it'll keep it perfectly horizontal. So you can see I applied it and you can see it's affecting the entire sky and it's also affecting those trees at the top. But I really don't want it at minus four, right? So I'm going to reset that. And what I'll do is I'll bring highlights down and then I'm gonna bring exposure down a little bit, just to kind of bring in that sky so it matches better with the rest of the image. But as I do that, you can see that the tops of the trees are getting dark as well. So I don't want this adjustment to affect the trees. I want it to only affect the brighter parts of the sky. I don't even want it to make the darker parts of the sky too dark, because then it looks overly dramatic. I just wanna rein in the highlights a little bit, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the range mask, and I mentioned there's three different types. There's the color, luminance, and depth. And you can see that depth is grayed out. That's because for depth to be active, the information has to be there in the image. And for this DSLR I used to take this photo, it doesn't include depth information in the RAW file. You'll most often find that with cell phones. So if you shoot with a more modern cell phone with a halfway decent camera, it will have depth information there and that will be active. And I'll show you that in a moment. So I want to use luminance. I mentioned I want to bring those brighter parts down. So I just want to affect the brighter parts. So I'm going to click on luminance. And when I do that, I get an eyedropper. I also have a couple sliders down here. So I just want to grab that eyedropper and I'm going to click on the brightest part of the image up here at the top. And when I do that, you'll notice that the uh, adjustment will get removed from those darker trees. So I'll just click up there. And you can see now it's just affecting the sky. So I'm going to put the eyedropper back and then I'll turn this off and on. There's before and there's after. There's before and there's after. Now, if I want to show the mask, I'll just click this little checkbox and you can see then it's showing where it's affecting. You can see it's mainly affecting the sky. Maybe the very, very tippy tippies tops of the trees a little bit. But other than that, it looks much more natural and looks a lot better. Now you could come in and manually adjust the mask. Uh, smooth this here. If you move that, you may be able to kind of get it away from those trees a little bit. If I move it to the left, you can see that. That helps a little bit. Um, also the range of the mask. When I clicked with the eyedropper, it moved the range to the specific tones that I clicked on. And if I want to narrow that down, I could maybe push this closer together or widen it out. I could bring them apart but you could see how you could then kind of fine tune the mask to your image. So that's the luminance range mask, very powerful tool in Lightroom Classic. Now we're gonna go to another image and actually this image here is not something I would do, all right? This is for demonstration purposes only. And for this, we're going to use the brush. Now I mentioned that these masks are in the radio filter, graduated filter and brush. We're gonna to go to the brush and again, it has exposure all the way down. I'll leave it there so we could see what I'm doing. I'm going to get a pretty big brush and I'm going to go on this far left hand side and I'm just going to click with the left mouse button. I'm just going to draw right across like that and then back again just to make sure I got every pixel. So, okay, that looks ridiculous, right? So we're going to reset the um, exposure uh, slider by double clicking on the word exposure. But what I want to do is, let's say, change the color of her eyes, which I really wouldn't want to do in real life, okay? But we're going to do this, and we're just going to move this this way. But you can see I changed the color of her eyes, but it's affecting her, you know, skin of her nose and face and everything else. So we're going to use the color range mask. So I'm going to open up the range mask, 
and we're going to go to color and again we have an eyedropper we'll get the eyedropper and I want to just click on where I know there's color of her eye like right there now you could see it's just affecting her eyes I'll put this eyedropper back and we'll do before after there's before and there's after there's before and there's after so you could see how using the color range mask really lets it know we're only affecting these colors nothing else now we do have an amount slider here uh, you could experiment with that and move that around and see it was affecting a little bit of her eye shadow over here so we can move that a little bit to try to move it from that but that allows you to then really just apply this adjustment exactly where you want it and affect the pixels you want to affect so that is the color range mask that is found in Lightroom class and again that's not only in the brush, that's in the radial filter and graduated filter as well. So we're going to go to our last image here. This is an image I actually took a while ago with one of my older cell phones. I think this might have been an iPhone 7. Um, I just put this like, I don't know, obviously it was around Halloween. My car was in the driveway and this was on our front porch, this like plastic pumpkin thing. And I just put it on the hood of my car and took this photo specifically to demo this back when the depth range mass first came out. So what we're going to do is we'll open up the graduated filter again for this adjustment. And I'll leave, again, exposures all the way down. We'll leave it there. And I'll just click somewhere up in here. I'm going to hold the shift key down so it goes perfectly like this. And we're going to affect like the, the image like that. And I kind of screwed up. I'm going, to un I'm going to delete that and do that over. Hold the shift key down and make it perfectly straight. Let go of my left mouse button, then let go of the shift key. And there we go. All right. So what we want to do here is I want to actually brighten up the pumpkin. So I'm going to brighten that pumpkin up, but I don't want to brighten up like, you know, the car behind it as it is now. So we'll go down here to the range mask. We'll click there and you can see now for this depth is active. So we'll click on depth, right? And then we're going to get the eyedropper. And then I'm going to click on the object that I want it to be applied to. So this is not the color. Now I'm I'm clicking on an orange pumpkin, but it's not looking at the color. It's actually looking at the depth information, where that pumpkin is in space. So it doesn't matter what color it is. It's going to affect everything that is at the same depth of where I click. So I'll click right there, and you can see how it's now just affecting the pumpkin, and it's not affecting the car behind it. Before, after. Before, after. So that is the depth range mask that is found in Lightroom Classic. So you can see these masks could be very powerful and you could um, really then apply these local adjustments specifically where you want them applied. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.